I wanted to speak about what happened yesterday in my own country, the United States' capital, Washington, D.C., with the protests that turned violent and became a siege of the Capitol building where the House of Representatives and Senate meets to make laws, and yesterday to count the electors for the election in the United States, for United States president. I really looked at that as a political situation of people with different ideas and different choices on what actions they want to take politically. But I found so many people in different media and around the country thinking that this action has something to do with Christianity and if you're a Christian or if you're not a Christian and all these kinds of things. I, I wanted to mention that when you look at what Jesus Christ did in the New Testament, he was particularly not political. And he had opportunities to be political, and he turned away from them each time. He had the opportunity with the Jewish leaders to be political. He had the opportunities with the Romans to be political as well, the Roman leaders in the area. And yet he turned away each time, and he discussed his kingdom of God. Especially in the book of Matthew, you'll find the kingdom of God is what's throughout that book. And it's in others as well. Because the kingdom of God is not the kingdom of this world, is how Jesus said it. He separated the two. And we can be Christians that participate in politics, have political ideas, and that's not an issue. But when we say that that's what Christianity is, we've, we've crossed the line. Because politics is different from Christianity. Christianity is a spiritual religion that transcends countries. Christianity is not a country. It's a religion, and Jesus Christ made sure it could never be a country because he turned away from all opportunities to make it into a political organization. And so when you mix them together, I like to call it Americanity. When you mix Christianity and American politics together, I call it Americanity. It, it's not Christianity. It's some kind of syncretism that you've, you've done. And so I really want to promote right now that if you've mixed them together, that you can consider unwinding that, that combination and uh, looking at Christianity more from a New Testament perspective and the perspective of Jesus Christ, the founder who we say we follow. We say we're a little Christ as Christians, but um, I really uh, want to uh, ask you to consider that idea and that um, the response going forward is to uh, keep politics and religion identified as what they really are, and um, that as we go forward, um, we really look at purifying our, our belief, our faith, and following Jesus Christ more and more.